What you got? Copper. Copper? Wire? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Uh, All right, folks, we're going to travel the Arizona today. We're starting out a little bit different. Today's a Wednesday. We're doing two scrap runs this week, and that's because of Light Mike. He gave me a lot of good non ferris and let's go through that real quick. Do a wrap up here. Definitely got some good pool motors going on there. No, no doubt about that. Full solid brass bed pieces right there. We got the, uh, the good wire. We got the regular household wire. Got the old shot up hard drives. Got uh, all extruded aluminum, boards, sheet aluminum, and he can't. Mike gave me a lot of Christmas lights, all of those, and these are the ones that I had. We got cast aluminum, we got die cast, copper, dirt, dirty brass, clean brass, and two seal units, some ACRs, and definitely a very good load. We're gonna go, go, go down to the uh, indoor recycling center, the one where they don't, they don't want us to film. Give you a little sneak peek of the uh, the steel for tomorrow. That's that that that's when we'll be doing the whole music and load up and all that. But for right now, let's get down there and see what this pays. All right, folks. There's a big grade silo, which means the big green non-ferrous building is coming up, and we're going to be turning in all of our goodies and see what we get up here. So let's go on in and have a look. All right, folks. As we exit the indoor recycling center here, the non-ferrous. That was a very very good run. Wow, um, we'll do a wrap up at home. I like doing it at home, it's a lot quieter there. So let's do a wrap up and I'll break it down for you and we'll see, and it was a good one. I'm telling you, I like this one. Let's head back. All right, folks here in Salvador, Arizona, those empty buckets mean money. And let's go have a look at what we got today. Real good, real good run today of the non fair So we started out with the with, with uh, six pounds of the radiator, seven bucks. We're just gonna go through some bangers. Uh, insulated copper wire, 20 bucks, 96 pounds of christmas wire at 24 dollars that's insane uh 116 pounds of motors 34 bucks not bad uh hard drives th that one kind of got me maybe maybe because maybe they were shot up i don't know but only 25 cents a pound so i was surprised on that uh green boards 1120 uh i'm sorry that, that I had, no i'm sorry that was my copper um brass dirty 56 bucks not bad a lot of that came from light mike again thank you sir and another one, more stuff that came from Light Mike was this brass clean at $100. And then we had just uh, the, about a good 20 or, or 30, 20, 30 bucks worth of aluminum. So definitely uh, a very good run. And, uh, and one thing too, what was cool is that when I was done, the guy said, hey, we're gonna up your price. Let me, let, let me readjust this. And it was 280 and then it went to, boom that right there 321 321 for the for this whole run that is i think that's one of my best one of my best non-ferris runs so hey let's uh get ready for tomorrow and get the steel well all right folks here in south of the Arizona, here we are on scrap for Oscar, scrap yard run day two at the wheelbarrow of fun steel that's very, very chunky stuff right there definitely got a few uh long poles we can take it down here and this is going to be the steel day today so we're going to get the wall of steel going on here definitely got that going on good 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 Gonna be doing some pops and poles. Definitely still got the. Uh, this is gonna be a, some huge steel meals today with the uh, <laughs> trampolines and whatnot, and the motors. I got I got cut out again. Thanks, like Mike. Still got to turn in that battery. Get my ten dollars from O'Reilly's, but I'm going to get all the stuff loaded up into there. I'll see what I get.
I tell you folks, wow, that was a heavy one. I mean, good and sweaty. Definitely heavy one. Got had, first started out with that uh, the cast iron sink. I'm not sure if y'all saw that. That thing weighs a ton. Filled that up with brake rotors. And then an incredible amount of steel meal. And this stuff is like really thick. Some of the stuff you get super thin, that stuff is just really thick. Stacked up really high in the sky. A lot of steel today. Uh, one more thing I want to point out too is uh, the reason why these buckets are so heavy is because of a uh, light mic. A lot of stuff he gave me, like when he breaks down his transformers and stuff, he gave me all the steel from that. So uh, these are filled with some super heavy, chunky stuff. And thank you again, sir. Let's go down, see what this pays. All right, folks, we have made it down to all metal by scrap here, downtown Mesa. And we're about to get up here on the scale. Got our scrap cubes, as always, packed up nice and high. Get on the scale here, and let's see what we got. Ooh, dang, that's good. 88.40, 88.40. Man, okay, more than I thought. here that was a sweaty one Ooh, it's gonna get up to like 90 today they say 7200 7200 not bad not bad wait all right those spins means a wrap up and that means front time for a tail of the tape not bad today not bad at all like i said i think like i said a lot of the weight was in the buckets it didn't you know i a lot of it were those um heavy like transformer bodies and stuff uh, Light Mike gave me a bunch of those and a lot of real heavy stuff along with the breaker orders, etc. So we had 1,600 pounds. That's the most I've had in a long time. And unfortunately, just six cents a pound. But hey, you know what? Either way, we still got 99, 50, 100 bucks. And so counting yesterday, that's 421 dollars in two days. So hey, not bad at all. Take that all day long. Let's go to the city and do some scrapping. All right, folks here in Southern Arizona, welcome to, to another Saturday scrapping adventure. Today, the pretty neighborhood has opened up, kind of a little farther flung from the house. We're going to be heading there, driving the beautiful tree lined streets. Let's go get it. All right, first stop of the day. And it's a backboard. Hey. Now, I believe my viewer, uh, Tom from Globe, wanted these one of these so we shall see if this is good for him look at that more hey look at that i may have to use the rack on this one oh yeah Alrighty, let me get this all tied up and we shall move on. Let's see here. Huh. Crafts over there. I was just about to go up and knock. I, I wasn't sure. I was looking to see. Thank you. Appreciate it. And that was cool. I literally, I was pretty sure it was good to go but not quite okay those are all both down good very good very good very good you got us a couple az specials there we can go through the foliage all right let's see here where's the bottom stays somewhere around there i don't know A dusty bug man I tell you dusty and there you go so you don't get blown away all right one more stripping session yay another dusty bug kick that under there okay All right. I saw some, oh, the smackaroo gates. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Yep. 
the baby gates. Still got one up at the house, but uh, don't really need to use it much anymore. Little man's a little over two now. A little pile here. Let's see. A little lean today. A little lean so far. So hey, oh, look at that. But we're just starting out, so still got some ways to go. All right, that up in there. Beautiful. All right, there's, we got some bed frames under the carpet there. I'll make a little bit of room for that real quick here. Yep. And, okay, there you go. Well, they dismantled it. They sure did. I like that. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. All the hardware even, well, okay. Get this out of the sidewalk and then we'll fix that up and move on. All right, I guess I saw a little. All right, there we go. A little fire ring. Okay. That one barely touched that and it busted up. All right. Four now. Okay, thank you. Okay, I got some wires there. Do that. We'll pots and pans. What not. Okay. Food, hey. This is like a vacuum sealer or some more wires. Oh, and a little router. Beautiful. Hey, you know what's wrong with the world today? People done gone put the bibles away. <laughs> CDB. Cannot beat some CDB. Okay, the old standbys. All right, oh, a little antenna. Right there. And this little dilly bobber here. Beautiful. All right, it's a nice one. All right, let's start grabbing this stuff here. Okay. Oh, good. I like when they remove the picnic table from that. That's always nice. And you just get the nice big heavy steel. Ah. Yeah, oh man. I'll take the wood because that's some heavy metal in there. Okay. Doggy beds. That's aluminum right there. Very good. I'm doing some infilling here not bad not bad at all what you got copper, copper? wire absolutely yes sir oh, yeah. right, we just roll it over i was going to take it over and i'm like man i could have been sitting in my damn garage Oh, it's dude. Good wire. I got that from leftover jobs. You ain't kidding, man. 
What is this? Is this a, uh, oh man. Yeah. I just, I started to kind of cut it in half so I was going to recycle it over there recycling again, but yeah. I just it's been sitting there for like a year and I'm like, man, these guys will <laughs> use it more than I will, man. I, oh, yes, yes, yes. This is this is what you call the good stuff right yeah, here. Stuff. I'll, I'll grab the rest of that. You want the uh, want the fishing reel? I'm sorry? Garbage. Garbage? Yeah. I'll, 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 scrap, I'll scrap it out. Okay. Cool. cool. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dang, dude. Now that's a flag down I can deal with all day long. It's just got to be about 40 to 50, 50 pounds of this type of wire. Right here. I mean, oh, that's really good. Very good, very good. That was a blessing right there. <laughs> well, it came by at the right time. Perfect. Well, hey, what turned? From mediocre into a very good stop. All right, let's boogie. Well, all right, folks, here in Southern Arizona, here we are heading off toward the second city, getting off the freeway here. Heading toward an older part of town. Now, this town was founded back in the late 1800s, so it goes way back. But um, I haven't scrapped this area before. I uh, worked it as a cop for about two years, but never scrapped it. So we'll see what we get today. Who knows? Let's roll the dice. Let's go get it. All right, folks, after much driving down these alleys, I finally found something. Yay, all right. Okay, that up in there. Yeah, these are definitely not as productive as some of the other areas I've gone to. Definitely. That's, oh, that's got the, uh, some lights on it. We can take off that off of that. Helium thing here. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna tie this down and we'll move on. All right, folks, we're gonna go on a little rant here. I'm gonna. This park here was known for being run down. It was always full of transients. Those those uh, tables there were always just filled. We were constantly getting calls about not just the transients but also loot activity in the park. I mean, really, really bad. And as we go through here, let's see what they're doing. They got they they, they put all new stuff in there they have a community garden <laughs> right here they've got a little um like a play play center on the other side over there and and there's a pool and, and they, they totally redid the pool and that's on the other side of the building so really cool it just goes what to show if you really put your mind to getting a park back together so i like that good deal take out this metal here We got two of these thingies. Oh, that's pretty cool. And there, there. No steel. <laughs> what do you know? All right, let's move on. Boom. Artistic, I think, quite. Let's see. What is this? Is this metal? Oh, Lord, it's metal. Look at that. Oh, Lord, it's metal. We can bend that up. No, we 
came. Throw that right in there. Okay, what is that? There's the fence. There's all that. What's that? <laughs> all my years, I've never seen a little trap door in someone's back fence. That's strange. I don't know, maybe they're, who knows what they're dealing out the back. <laughs> hey, we got us a little TV here. Look at that. And the remote. All right. Okay. Boom. All righty here. See where we're going here. You want to hold on for a bit? Is that what you want to do? All right. I think I saw a couple things here about the dumpsters. Yeah, I see these old metal ones. Just put those out, literally. <laughs> and there goes the U-Haul. All right. I mean, he just dropped these. That's funny. Give us a little bit of weight. All right. Beautiful. I was driving by and saw this. Oh, I think this is a food processor. That's what that is, yeah. All the little doohickeys that go with it. Okay, hey. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Take that for the motor. All right, what is this? Did they fool me on the wood? No. Uh, some he helium. Big chunk of helium here. All right. Little helium. Find you a place right there. There you go. All right, folks, here in Salvaging Arizona, let's do a wrap up of the second city. Got to see some areas I ain't seen in a long time. Some of the older parts of town. Definitely went through there. We're in a newer part of town now, but got a little bit, as usual, like I said, not, not all that much when it comes to second city. Got TV, bed frames, etc. A little bit miscellaneous metal, but hey, not bad at all. Let's go to the other city and do some scrapping. I spotted me a blender. <laughs> A little light fixture there. Sure. Take the bottom of that. There you go. Okay. All right. That takes care of that. All right. Let's see. Cordage off of this here. Okay. Telling you folks, that is some good wire. Dang, that's good wire. I'm liking that. Okay. Well, I want to see something. Sticky. I just saw that the stuff there. I just wonder if, if, if like the, the bed frame stuff was. Oh, oh, there's people come to get it along with the bed frames, all that. Got it. Y yeah, it's staying. Okay, all right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Sorry to bother you. This is a good one. I'll grab some stuff here. Flex shield, whatever that is. Um, okay. Beautiful. Two points. All right. Yeah, sure. We'll stop and grab some crutches real quick. Why not? Get them up there. All right. Quick and on our way. All right, folks, we're in Arizona, PD story time. Yes, PD story time once again. And today we're gonna to talk about apartments and apartment maps. Now, as I said, I was a patrol cop for many, many years, for, for my entire time. And one thing you will go to a lot of is apartments. And the problem is, is that some of these complexes have 20, 30 buildings. Some of them have three stories, four stories. 
and if you don't have a map, well, okay, how are you gonna know where you're going? Especially if something really, something really bad is going on, something in progress, you need to get there. You really need to know exactly where in that complex, because when you, when you get to a complex, you're staring at 30 buildings, where's 2147? Uh, well, so what, so what I did was, old school, Back in the day, these were my famous little apartment maps that I carried. I carried with these every day for my most of my career. I compiled these. Some of these were given to me. This is my north side one, um, and my south side one. Uh, I use way more because I work south side. And funny when you, I, I even said compiled by me on 528 of 03. This book is 21 years old. And let's, yeah, let's, let's give a great example. This is a normal complex, okay? And where's, where's apartment 110? <laughs> where's apartment 220? Um, they're very necessary because um, very few officers actually had them. They would re re mainly like rely on dispatch and dispatch would go, well, it's, it's north of the rec center. Okay, well, well I, first of all, I don't, know, I don't know where the rec center is. I mean, I'm, I, how, how do I know where it is? I, I, I may have been there, maybe not. And they'll go, okay, well, it's uh, just on the south in the middle. And so, no, you this way with a map, you can sit there, obviously, and, and know that. And a better part, too, is like, let's say on something like this here, well, this is a, these are three stories, actually. So you can know which way to approach. And a lot of times that's very important is learning where to approach. Because if someone, if, if something bad's going on, you, know, you, you don't want to walk up on the, on the right run. I'm sorry, in, in a bad area. When you know, when you have the apartment map, you know, okay, well, the apartment's on the north side, so I'm gonna come from the south. <laughs> Instead of just blindly walking in for the north side when somebody could be looking to hurt you. So yeah, those, those, those are my famous maps. They they rode with me for my uh, entire career, pretty much. Like I said, that's 21 years old. Um, when I went to day shift, I actually got a lot more maps because I was able to go to the apartment complex uh, managers and, um, get some of those like this one here you can you can tell the, these are ones that, that they give out um, by the uh, managers so once I once I was able to do that I was really able to compile this book very well um, they have what were called fire department maps and I have a few of them in here but they're, they're kind of hard to, to get to they were like a paper version of Google Maps okay where in that it would show the streets and it would label each individual house and each each individual each individual address those, and, but the problem is they were all on eight, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. So one neighborhood could have 25 pieces of paper. And I have those books. The book is that thick. I'm not kidding. Of all the apartment maps for the entire city. I'm sorry, for the fire department maps, that's mainly for neighborhoods and things like that. So if we really needed to do it, we'd bust out the fire department maps. And then, then again, of course, this is all before Google Maps. Very important to have these books. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever used props. <laughs> and for... Those of you who've stayed this long, we're, we're gonna do a bonus one, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna talk about a guy, okay? And I want, I, I, first of all, I wanna show you something real quick. Let me see if I can zoom in on this here. Okay, I want you to see that right there, okay? That is a tattoo of 999, okay? Now, that is on his wrist, okay? That is a guy that I contacted many, many years ago. And when I saw 999, 999 is a very, <laughs> that's, that's the code you say when you're, you're, things are going terrible. Someone's pointing a gun at you, you're in a gunfight. You, you, if you get on and say 999, the world is coming, I guarantee you. And I've seen it happen. <laughs> I've seen it happen. And it, it's so revered that let's say a plate has you know, 999, 1, 2, 3. If you say 999, they dispatch will go, are you code 4? Meaning, are you okay? even if you didn't mean to say it, it's that revered. Anyways, getting back to this guy. I asked him, I said, is that 666 or is that 999? He goes, it's 999. It's 999. I said, why do you have 999 tattooed on your arm? He said, well, that's what I heard the officer yelling when he was shooting me. I said, what? He said, yeah, I, I, was, I was fighting with the, the Glendale Police Department, which, which is a town on the west side of Phoenix. And he said, um, he was fighting bad with the officer and that he was going for the officer's gun. He said that he was getting the best of the officer and that um, the officer finally pulled his gun and fired eight times. And he showed me every single one of these bullet wounds and one of them was right here, right here. The, 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 the bullet didn't break his 
breastplate. So, anyways, he had those. That 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 was that was then. Now this picture was taken about a year and a half later. In this case, I got called to a extended stay hotel, and I saw him, and I recognized him, and I said, "Hey." And guess what had happened again? He'd been shot a ninth time. He was there. Uh, I guess the 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 or some social social service agency had put him up in that hotel because uh, he was re recovering. But yeah, apparently uh, he was uh, fooling around on a girl. And this is what he told me. He said he was fooling around with a girl who had a boyfriend and he was shot by the boyfriend in the stomach. So this guy took his, ten, now taken nine bullets and is still alive. So amazing. That was a long time ago. Don't know what all became of him, but just that, like I said, I never saw a 999 tattoo and never did for the rest of my career. So very interesting. Hope you like that one. Sorry it's been so long, but hey, it's a back strap. Hey, we found us a pile. Look at that. Oh, Christmas lights, golf clubs. Oh yeah, not that. What's this? Plastic? Nope, not of steel. Mm. Okay. Thought it'd be interesting how to get the Christmas lights out from underneath the tiles. Hmm. Huh. Well, you know, like that. That's how you do it. Slowly. Okay. Again, let's uh, do some infilling here. Okay. I'll check the bag zippers again. I said someone told me to check the zippers. But I haven't really found much of anything in these. Let's see. Okay. Well, there's. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. A glove. Hey, there you go. Is it okay if I go through your recycles? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, let's do. Oh, whatever this is. Oh, candle warmer. <laughs> Oh yeah, whole car stereo. FYI, people still do steal radios now. How you think I got this suit? <laughs> because of her right there. I, I normally would not go out with a young child just wandering about, but that's why I got permission from her dad to be here, so. And I think y'all should too. Don't pull up in front. <laughs> You're gonna wig a lot of people out, so hey. Alrighty, let's move. Let's move. Oh. Nice little spread of brake rotors there. All right, let's rescue this one out from under the mattress. Okay, and you, and you, okay. That is metal, hey, okay. Anything else? That was a weird one. All right, onward. We got some little chairs going on there. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Hey. And there goes the scrapper right there. <laughs> Just got this one in. Okay. There a little bit. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, these little running boards. Ugh. There we go. All right. A little Arizona special here was 
trying to hide out on me. You can't hide from me. You will be stripped and you will be taken. That didn't sound right. <laughs> the, uh, the metal that is. That's what I'm talking about. The metal. Okay. All right, get that and that. And there is our Herder's Own Special. Right there. All right, Get up to a mini steel meal here. Thanks, sir. Oh, yeah. Clanging and a banging still. Pops and poles. Maybe it's all the hardware and everything. Okay. Okay. And. Down to the last bolt. All right, get that on there. And for good measure, we'll route one of these two. Wow. We'll get a roof on this here in just a second. Let's get around the corner here. All right, very good deal, very good deal. All right, folks here in Southern Arizona. Not a bad day today, not a bad day today at all. Ended up with a nice good little steel meal there not bad at all whoo tell you what folks i just look right now we are at 1695 subscribers so we are almost at 1700 me and me and junk and grind got a little thing going whoever uh makes it to 5,000 subs first has to buy the other one dinner in their respective states so let's get me some dinner all right thanks again folks i mean it from the bottom of my heart thank you very much y'all have a great day and i'll see you next week